Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my top 10 blushes. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. For my other categories, I picked my top five, but for blushes, it was just so difficult to narrow it down to five because I think I love blushes maybe the most out of everything I have. I've got to decide. I haven't figured it out yet, but I really think that blush transforms the way my makeup looks. It doesn't look complete until I've applied blush. So for me, it's really transformative and really wakes up my skin. That's why I love blush so much. So let's go ahead and talk about my top 10 blushes. And these are the ones that are my favorites and also are the ones that you ask about the most. Starting with this first one by Westman Atelier, it is Chouchette. It's a cream blush. If you haven't seen this before, it's a really beautiful pink shade that I think will work on most people. I thought it was going to be too light for my skin tone, but it actually shows up quite a bit and it's buildable as well. It becomes one with the skin and just brightens everything up, but has a very beautiful glow about it because of the texture. I do apply this one on top of powder and it does really well, so if you're concerned about lifting makeup, which some cream blushes can do, this one doesn't do that if I apply powder first. And it does play well with powders that I use frequently. This is one of those blushes that helps me achieve that healthy look, <laughs> really pretty. Then we have a powder blush, and this one recently I saw in Chantkai had sold out. Uh, it is in the shade Grace. It's one of their philanthropy blushes. These blushes benefit wildlife conservation as well based on the animals. So this is the sea turtle. This one's a beautiful warm apricot, but it's still got some pink in it. A uh, really nice combination. There's a pinhole in the back so you can refill it once it's empty, which I like for that sustainability piece. And this compact is really so beautiful too that you'll definitely wanna hold on to it and just refill the blush. Joy is also really pretty. I broke that one, but that is also a really beautiful blush. I love this for layering as well. This is one of my go-to blushes, and I do like how it doesn't have anything shimmery in it. You'll notice that the blushes I have don't have um, really that much luminosity to them because for me it emphasizes things like my pores in the front here, and I do like to bring blush up to the front, so this one is a really beautiful formula for that. Doesn't emphasize anything like fine lines or texture. The next one is one that I know that if you've been here before, you already know what this is because I think it was January that I said, is it too early to call my favorite blush of 2021? And we have here the Chanel blush that I was talking about. It is really such a beautiful shade. It's got a warmth to it. It's more like a salmon-y versus a coral shade. So there's something a little bit muted about it, but the finish is really so gorgeous on. This is one of my most frequently asked about blushes when I wear it. So limited edition, again, if you were thinking of getting it, I would definitely pick it up, highly recommend it. It is very much in the running for my favorite blush of the year. Then we've got a blush that's been around for a while, that I've had for a while, I've talked about it a lot. It still is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It is by Charlotte Tilbury. This one's luminous without being shimmery, one of the more luminous of the ones that I have. So that should give you an indication of how much shimmer I like. This is not shimmery at all, but definitely luminous. And then you have that pink shade in there, so I use that as a pop of color. And that's when I really started using blushes together and layering them was with this type of a blush because it's already built in here. Always a stunning, stunning look when this is added because all of these blushes that I'm talking about are just so seamless on the skin and they just go on so beautifully and evenly. So that's why they made it into this top 10, but this is a really beautiful one. That's been a favorite of mine for years. Then we've got another Chantkai blush. This one is in Manta Ray. This may have been my favorite blush last year. I love the texture of this. It just goes on so beautifully. It's not powdery at all and it has a beautiful vibrant shade. So the Chanel one, very similar in texture, but it doesn't have the same vibrant quality. This one's definitely more muted if you wanted to know the difference. When I did my dedicated video to this, I did compare the two because I thought they reminded me of each other, but there's definitely something softer about this and something vibrant about this one. Then we have a Merit Beauty blush, and this is not like this cream blush. This is very much a traditional cream formula. This this is more translucent, more dewy, so 
it has that dumpling look to it. So if you like that glass skin look, this is a perfect kind of a blush to use with that. I have mine here in Beverly Hills. I have three shades, but this is still a little bit pink on me, even though it's got some warmth to it. Really pretty shade. I do like layering it with the other shade Cheeky, but if I was going to pick one, it would be this one. Really beautiful. Easy to apply, so what I do with this one is I will just apply it to the cheek and kind of just pat it in. That's for really quick application. I forgot to mention though, with the Westman Atelier, I do apply it with a brush, and it seems to work best that way because it's not moving around too much, especially when I just stipple it in. Then we have another blush by Chantecaille. This is not a cream, it's not a powder. This one is a gel cream blush. This one comes in a tube. I do have all three shades. I have Happy, I have, um, what's the other one? How can I forget? There's Happy, there's Lively, that's right. Happy, Lively, and this is Vibrant. This is my favorite one, even though it's my most recent one. It has the most color payoffs. So if you're my skin tone or any richer, then you're going to want to try this one. And then I think layering it with something like Happy or Lively would be really pretty too, but this one has the most impact in terms of the color. I'll just pat it on really gently onto my cheekbone area and it works really well. Then this next blush is one that I get asked about almost as much as I get asked about the Chanel blush. This is the one by Wayne Goss. It's in Coral Rose and it's the one that was out of stock for a long time, came back into stock. So I'll check for you if it is in stock again. But I like how it's got the highlighter here because you can add the highlighter first and go over it with a blush if you want a little bit more luminescence, but I love it. It does have a very nice diffused appearance about it, but you can also build this one up as well. But usually it's when I wear it in a lighter kind of veil of color that that's when I'm asked about it. So you can definitely do that with this blush. It's really, really beautiful. Then we've got blushes that are the reason I refilmed this video because I have not received them yet. But after I tried them, I thought I need to refilm this because I need to include them. They are the Hermes blushes, which I recently featured, and I have them both on now. So we have 19 Rose Apricot, and we also have 22 Rose Palmette. So what I did is I took Rose Palmette, and I placed it in the center of my cheek right here on the highest point, and then I took Rose Apricot, and then I kind of worked that in, and that's what's around and on top of it. So that's how I got both shades on and I really do love using them together. Now one of the most impressive things about this is that it lasts a really long time. So I wore this for approximately 12 hours with a face covering. So when I took my face covering off, it looked very similar to how it looked when I applied it 12 hours earlier. So it has really great staying power in case you're wondering, in case that's important to you. Before I forget what I do have on my lips right now, because I will forget by the time I get to edit this, it's the Hermes number 21 that I have on the lips, but I also have another product on top of that, the Lip Oil by Merit. And then for eyes, I have the uh, Tissé Rivoli on the eyes. This one is by Chanel. Then I have this pearl shade in the inner corner and then on the lid a little bit. I have number 40, this uh, eyeshadow liner coal in 40 in the waterline. And then I used my Chantecaille eyeshadow palette, the custom one that I built. I didn't build it, but I selected the colors for it. I have lapis, this one right here. Just, I press that into the upper lash line on the outer half but I'd love to know what your favorite blushes are because we have the rest of the year for me to try out some really beautiful blushes. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.